So hello everyone and welcome to another part of the character modeling tutorial. Uh, so we have the feed left to do but I'm kind of not motivated to model them right now. So let's be so nice and give her some clothes. Uh, the one in the current reference. So I thought we would try to create a character fully modeled so we will not just model the one costume that she normally wears. I uh, will really try to make first the body and uh, then as an addition um, create second version with the cloth so that we really have an, a setup that can handle all kind of different situations. Of course all of this will have to be worked uh, on later on but you know just to finish these things off uh, let's do something about it. So I'm starting a new object here and I hope, by the way, that the noises in the background aren't too loud and you can hear them. Um, seems like some neighbors are drilling something into the wall or something. Uh, yeah, I hope it's not too distracting. So we'll add new vertices, you know, the way we always do with control and click. And just start very roughly to follow the shapes of our reference. So we're staying far above the surface and we're really not bothering too much at the moment uh, with, you know, um, getting it perfectly aligned to the skin. Just create these important edges for now. Then I'll take it down here and create a second you know, add reference add that will basically just go around her body like this and we'll need one more for um, around her arm so that's kind of the design that I'm planning to do And after some extruding and positioning, you will manage to get this, get this right. So with that done, um, we will fill those faces and just try to get the structure right. You know, all that um, making it fit uh, and be tight on her skin, we'll do that kind of stuff later. So let's start connecting things. Obviously this area is rather easy. Just be careful not to get any wrong vertices into there when you, you know, create a face. And at this point let me mention again if any, you know, shortcut doesn't work for you, go to part 0 and listen to what I have to say in there. I'm explaining a few things that you should know in case you didn't watch it. I will make sure to put all the information that you need to know uh, before watching this in there once I'm done with this tutorial, with recording it, um, so that you have it easier. All right, so you see we have some troubles here. There, there we connected the edge wrong. You can just delete it and fix it. Just be careful not to be inside of her body with the clothes. It's, it's okay to be uh, away from it at this point, but make sure not to, you know, um, the inside. That's more of a problem. So now we're doing some topology thinking here, as you can see. I'm following certain loops already. And recalculating the normals, by the way, from time to time. That helps. And after a few minutes of filling phases, you might have also reach this result. 
yeah, I'm selecting from time to time wrong faces. You kind of notice that. Just reselect it and it should be fine. Now, last part. Okay, now we only need to make one cut here and we can easily fill it. Now the reason why I keep distance is because it makes it easier for us to focus on geometry. And the only thing I left out is I want to have this one go in like that once more, just for the sake of structure. Now we have a pretty good topology on this one. Good. Now someone's hammering against the wall. How nice is that? <laughs> Let's see if the normals are correct. So we had some issues with the normals. Quickly corrected that. And now it's time to, you know, shrink uh, the cloth at her body. And there's something I want to try about that. So we'll use subdivision surface, first of all, to get some more detail in here. And then I want to try to use the shrink warp modifier and just see what happens. Uh, so we want to shrink warp it at cube. So I just check the name quickly. That's cube and it's cube. And look at that. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's see what happens without subsurface. And the only issue is this mirrored edge here. Hmm, trying to decide to go for. We'll have to do adjustments anyways, but okay, let's let's go for this. So I'm going to apply mirror for now, apply the shrink warp, and then I'll go to edit mode and select these um, edges that should be the center and select uh, with control E go to select loop in a region and then one half is selected just delete all the faces then mirror it and make sure that these ones really align to the center with the clipping feature and now you have pretty quickly adjusted everything um, now it's just a matter of you know scaling things up again just you know mirror should be before um, subsurface you can and I guess at this point we'll just apply the subsurface modifier. So again, apply mirror for a second and same thing again, delete one half and again use mirror modifier, actually clipping. That's just because you can't apply mirror uh, the subsurface after a mirror because you get into some trouble. Anyways, now this is the structure that we'll base everything on. Let's use shrink and flatten to make give everything a bit of a distance to the skin. So here it is, and now we'll work uh, with proportional editing mainly to really get things correct. So be careful with selecting things. It again happened a couple of times to me that I selected wrong vertices from the back. And also I have the feeling that here are way too many loops. You can easily go in here and delete some of them we don't need that many. Okay, maybe that one not, but these two. We don't need those. Just make sure that it still looks good after you make these kind of changes. Just to confirm. So then I select this and just scale it in, make sure that proportion editing is not on to give it some thickness or actually, you know what, forget that. We'll just use solid view modifier instead. Uh, so solid fit is the same thing for us just on the entire mesh and then I want to make sure that we don't have holes like that so proportion editing again and really get everything close to the skin now so that's a pretty good way to model clothes in my opinion yep that's that that's first part of molding cloth and feel free to mold it however you like it 
that's just a workflow of how to model clothes that I like to use. And that's it for this part. Thank you for watching and noise is getting louder and louder. I hope it's not too loud for you and I'll stop the video now. And thank you for watching. Hope you learned from this. See you in my next part. Have a good day.